Welcome guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the Empress, I'm happy to be here with you guys today. These readings are general readings, whatever pops out, pops out, that's what I'm going to read. If they resonate, good. If they don't, check your moon and your rising videos, okay? There could be some messages for you there. Um, let's hop into it, all right? If you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that bell to subscribe. Okay, turn your notifications on because there's so much more to come in the future, all right? So let's get it popping. Let's jump right into it, all right? Gemini. The messages are there for Gemini's for the month of November. All right, November, November, November. What do we have for Gemini's for the month of November? What messages are there for Gemini's for the month of November? What messages are there for Gemini for the month of November? Woo! Eight of Pentacles drop for you guys. All right. So you guys could be putting in a lot of work, putting in some effort, okay, towards something. You guys could be busy. You're trying to work towards something. You're building something. Maybe, yeah, we got you guys' energy. Okay, we got the high priestess. Maybe you guys are trying to work in silence or keeping something a secret. Maybe you're keeping a relationship a secret. Um, let's see. Well, let's, let's get a little bit. Let's go a little deeper here. What messages are there for Gemini's? Okay, we got the queen of wands that wanted to drop out. Okay, maybe you are trying to spice things up, okay? Queen of Wands is Leo, Sagittarius, Aries is energy. But maybe you're trying to spice something up, okay? Maybe you're trying to keep it spicy, keep it fun. I feel like there could possibly be thoughts um, of maybe there's a third party involved, okay? Um, maybe you feel left out by someone. Could be a... Um, Virgo Taurus Capricorn or a business oriented person, someone that's focused on this money. Okay, and then we got this Empress. Yeah, there's something here about possibly a third party here. Okay, we got the Empress as well as the Moon card. Okay, so there could be something that is hidden in the back. Okay, and maybe you feel heartbroken. And I'm picking up like really sad energy, okay? Maybe you f you don't feel um, that good about, you know, about the situation. Who would if there's a third party involved, you know? So maybe you're trying to spice things up here with this Queen of Wands energy. Maybe you're um, changing your attire. Maybe you're doing, you know, putting on makeup or, you know, just, just, just spicing it up a little bit. Maybe you feel like there's somebody trying to slide in, okay? All right, yeah, we have the two of pentacles. So you guys are working on your relationship, okay? You're working on the connection that you have with someone, okay? In the past, we have the six of swords. Maybe you're trying to move on from something in the past, okay? Maybe you've accepted something in your past, okay? But we have the emperor card. So this person that you could be dealing with could be an Aries, but this person could be very, you know, very um stubborn okay very stern um controlling okay as well and we have the death card which is transformation change and then also is like an ending okay all right so let's see what's going on here i want to know why the six of swords is here for gemini's Why is the Six of Swords here? Okay, we got you guys' this energy, the lovers. Okay, so I feel like some of you guys um, possibly are trying to get someone's attention here. Okay, um, I feel like you guys are, are, have moved on from something. Why is the lovers here? Maybe you left to get someone's attention. Why is the lovers here?
yeah here's this king of pentacles again and the six of wands here again okay so there could be a, some guy or female male or female you moved on from this person because possibly you did that to you know wake them up okay king of cups I feel like there is love here for them for this person, but this person could be controlling. You could be married to this person, okay? You could be living with this person. You can have a family with this person, or this person provides you with some type of stability. Um, I feel like this person could be, you know, really tough. Um, you know, could come off as kind of cold, okay? But I most definitely feel like there is emotions and love here for this person. But this person could be like really controlling. To you could be feeling like this person is, you know, sneaking around here. We got the moon and the knight of wands. Pisces is energy and Leo Sagittarius Aries. But this to me is like someone that's here in the day, going by night. Someone that is in and out, okay. Someone that is keeping secrets, okay. You don't feel as secure, okay? I feel like you're not feeling secure in this situation. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Yeah, and you're not sure what to do. Um, I feel like some of you guys could be dealing with an Aquarius, but I feel like you still have hope for this situation, okay? I feel like you feel stuck in this situation okay but i feel like you don't feel secure like you don't you're not sure what you're going to do or where you're going to go without this person i feel like this person is just not giving you the security or stability um but i feel like for some reason i'm just picking up you're not sure what to mention this person possibly has been wearing a false mask or possibly has been cheating or lying about something okay and you possibly um you know it came to the light and you found out okay and you feel defeated about the situation you're not sure what to do okay why is this queen of wands here i'm curious why is this queen of wands here We got the seven of pentacles that wanted to jump out. Okay, so this is like wondering. This is like, you know, when is when is something going, when is this going to occur? When is something, when are these um, pentacles going to, you know, finally, when I'm going to see, when am I going to see my harvest? I feel like you've been being patient with this person, okay? And then look, we got this three of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So this could most definitely be a third person. Okay, why is the Queen of Wands here? I need a little bit more insight. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Justice. Okay, look, this is a third. This is joining. Okay, this is two people, two people juggling. Okay, I'm not going to specifically say what I feel like this is, but I just, oh, okay. I just feel like there's, you know. Someone is trying to keep their relationship spicy. Yeah. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Why is the, oh, okay. Yeah, we got the Knight of Swords, okay. Rushing back to someone. Um, it's like you're waiting to tell this person or waiting for this person to say something or communicate with you. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Okay, maybe someone is running back to their old ways, going back to their roots, going back to their old ways. I feel like there's some, you know, juggling going on here. Why is the two of cups here? Okay, you're trying to keep your lover happy. Okay, you... <laughs> You want to fulfill their desires, okay? The moon card and the nine of cups, okay? This is hidden. This could be fantasies. Like, I'm just getting like you want to make somebody happy here. 
Okay. I feel like you moved on from this this person because they possibly wanted something that you possibly didn't want in the past, but you did it to get their attention. I feel like this person is possessive and possibly very controlling. Okay. This is the most awkward reading that I've had ever. Um, but I'm just reading it as it is. I mean, some people, that's not an issue. That's not a problem. You know, for some people, it's like a no. But a lot of times, it does come up in relationships when you've been with someone for a long time, okay? Sometimes this does, this type of situations does come up, you know? I'm just keeping it real. All right, so let's pull some love oracle cards, okay? So... Look, we got to give your relationship a chance and express your love. Like, someone here really wants to make this work. And I'm getting, like, you know, some people, some of you guys are willing to, like, try different things to make this work. Okay, so let's see. What messages do we have? How do they feel about Gemini's? I'm sensing there's flirting going on, okay? Someone is doing some flirting. These are, like, these these cards are literally, like, jumping. Someone might be jumping from, <laughs> jumping around, okay? It's like the cards are, like, literally, like, jumping, like, ooh, okay. All right, I'm picking up on retreat, okay? It's time to disconnect from the world. So I'm feeling like there could be a disconnect between you two or you two need to take some time off um, and kind of just like disconnect from everybody and get some alone time with each other, okay? Give me another message. How do, how do they feel about Gemini? Yeah, like the cars are like literally like they're jumping. Okay. What other messages are there for Gemini? What messages are there for Gemini? What messages do we have for Gemini? All right, we have healing family issues, okay? So they could be, um, you guys' focus could be um, on someone in your family or how, how are you going to heal a situation is in regards to your family, okay? You could be dealing with something with your parents or a loved one or someone in your family and they may feel like currently you got, you're focused on, you know, healing something, Okay. And then we have express your love. Okay, so go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So they're going to be expressing their feelings towards you. They're going to be showing affection, showing um, some type of love gesture towards you. Okay, so why is... Give me some clarifiers for Gemini, please. Give me some clarifiers. Yep. Look, we got the three of swords that jumped out, okay? So there can most definitely be third-party energy. I feel like someone's is someone is feeling sad, okay? Feeling hurt, okay? And we got that here with retreat. Someone here is most definitely disconnected from... Um, Feeling, you know, like disconnected and sad, okay? Please give me some more clarifiers for it. Okay, there we go. We got the Four of Swords. I'm picking up on depressed energy, um, just kind of like sad energy. Someone deciding that they need to take some time off or, you know, is doing some meditating, thinking to themselves, okay? waiting for some type of communication um, or waiting for someone to, to tell them how they feel, okay? Why is express your love here? Ooh. 
All right. Yeah. We have Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So most definitely someone is most definitely going to be expressing their emotions there. Someone needs some nurturing, some um, like I'm getting like TLC. I'm most definitely getting that. Someone needs someone look. Someone needs someone attention. I feel like um, they know that a lot of things that you're doing, you're doing it because you are trying to gain like their attention or, you know, or getting or trying to um, get them to notice what they are doing to you, like the actions that they're taking and how it is affecting you. Um, but I'm picking up on ooh, three of cups. Yeah. See, look, three of swords and the three of cups. Okay. So there is third party energy here. Okay. There's third party energy here. And this isn't going to be for everyone. Okay. I feel like you possibly are dealing with a player, a full fledged, a full fledged player. Okay. This person is just, you know, playing around with these people. This other third, you know, this other person or people that they're dealing with, but they're not understanding how this is making you feel. Okay. And on top of that, you possibly are dealing with, you know, family um, and you have a lot on your mind. Why is the Forbes? Most definitely not healthy. I'm picking up like sick energy here, like tired energy, sad energy. Okay. Feeling someone is needing some type of healing is what I'm picking up here. Um, and this situation, this three of swords and the three of cups isn't going to make anything e even better. You know what I'm saying? So there's something for you guys to think about, Geminis. Um, if you guys, if this message is resonated, make sure you hit the like button. Let me know what's going on in the comment section below. Okay. And if you want to book your very own personal reading, guys, that information will be somewhere across the screen or in the drop box below, okay? All right, my loves, ciao for now. My aura bright like the morning star, moving fast like the shooting star. I'm in my own lane, no movie star. If this ain't no act, I can't play your part. My aura bright like the morning star. Moving fast like a shooting star I'm in my own lane, no movie star Cause this ain't no act, I can't play a part Dr. Cobb bring higher I got the heat, I'm on fire The Empress of the Empire Goddess of Desire